So I guess what we're going to look at now is can you live the way you want? So what I want you to do right now is on your piece of paper, I want you to write down what you're currently earning. So you can either write down $50,000 a year or $500 a week, however you get paid, just write that down. Now have a look at this. What's on screen now is actually the age pension from, uh, from March last year. And if you look at it there, a single person, 13000 a year or a couple, 22. So if you've written down a number larger than that, so if you wrote down that you're earning $50,000 a year, you're going to be in a bit of trouble, aren't you? It's going to be a massive change in lifestyle, dropping from fifty grand a year down to you know, a couple of twenty-two grand a year. So you have to make some sacrifices. So now, how much you know, is going to be enough for you? So what I'd like you to do now is write down how much you would like to live off. Assume you've paid your house out and you've got rid of all your other debts. Assume, you know, how much would I need each year just to get by, to pay all the expenses, go on the holidays, all that sort of stuff. How much would you like to live off? So, using the same example, if you wrote down 50 grand, I'd suggest you'd want to write down at least that amount, but you might, write, might want to write down a little bit more. And let's have a look. Here's a quick calculation. If you did write down 50 grand a year, um, you'll need around a million dollars in income-producing assets. Now, that's not your home, because it doesn't produce any income. But a million dollars, you know, if you said, you know, if you've got a 5% return on that, um, that gives you your 50 grand a year over 20 years. Because remember, you're going to retire at maybe 50 or 60, but you're not going to die then, are you? You're going to live a little bit longer than that. At the moment, men live till around 79, women live to around 82. Um, so, you know, you need to plan that you'll be in retirement for another 20-odd years. So you need to make sure you've got the funds. Here's some scary statistics. We have a look at the, the current stats at the moment. Around 50% of people will retire on the pension. Okay, so that's over half our population. At the age of retirement, about 30% are dead. You know, there's heart disease and all these other diseases out there at the moment. Um, so certainly you can't avoid some of those, but you know, possibly having an income and having some money to help you, you know, be treated and live longer would certainly have helped. About 10% of the population will need to work. So they might have uh, had a little bit of side in superannuation, possibly have you know, one property or some shares, but it's not going to be enough for them. They're still going to have to continue some type of work, some part-time casual work, or maybe just their self-employed role. A further 9-10% to 10 uh, will be fully independent, so you know, they can live off their own assets, not require any government assistance like the pension. Um, they'll have enough money in super and other, other investment vehicles to do what they want, but they won't be what we would call wealthy, and wealthy is probably 1% of the population where you can do what you want, when you want, go on holidays, um, you can choose to do some work on the side because it's your hobby, but you certainly have the choice to do whatever you want. And that's really what we want to get to, um, is that wealthy point in our lives, uh, just to make our life easier.